One of the most important things that I teach my mentees is to have a follow-up system. If you're in one of the other videos, I talked about the rule of five. Sometimes I speak to 10, 15, 20 people a day. It's, I love this business, but you can't remember everything. I was, one of my tricks is I have a little notebook here. I write my notes. I have a highlighter nearby. I, I save more than just the name, the address, the phone number, the email, and everything else. I give them a motivation score. We call this the guts barometer. Are they a one? They could care less. They don't have the money or the need. Uh, are they a five? They're sitting on the fence. They could go either way. Or are they an eight, nine, or 10? They're a hot prospect. You want to save your notes. You want to get the specifics, how many bedrooms they want, how many square footage, what's the time frame, what's their um, uh, economic situation, what's the name of their pet goldfish. Anything you can save put that into your notes. Then you take a picture and I use particularly Evernote. I like the system. It's so fluid. It synchronizes so well. I believe it's even free. Uh, I take a picture, I upload it, and then I take my score. So say if they're an eight, nine, or 10, I want to contact them in a day or two or that week. If they are four or five, maybe in a month. If there are one, two, or three, maybe in three to six months. But save this information. There's no way if you're speaking using the rule of five, if you're speaking to people every day, you can't remember all this information, the offers you made, the numbers you were working with, and the personal information. Why is this all important? Because when you follow up, Say you call somebody a week, two weeks later, and you have your notes, which you can retrieve. And by the way, you can use any system. There's many fine systems out there like Podio. My friend Joe McCall uses that. Um, I like Evernote. It's all subjective. The thing is, do you have a follow-up system so that when you call that person back, you say, hey, how's your wife, Betty Lou? How's your dog, Spot? I heard you had to take him to the vet. Um, I, you know, when last time we spoke, you said you were looking for a three-bedroom condo. I just found something that meets with your budget. You wouldn't be interested, would you? That's a guts qu uh, redirection question. Save your notes f set and set, um, set an alarm or follow-up reminder in it. Make sure your system has some kind of reminder system so it comes across your screen on your laptop or on your iPhone or whatever you're using. And then you call them back and you sound like you sound like they're important to you. People want to be made to feel, feel like they're important. Hi, Mr. Smith. I don't know if you remember me. We spoke three weeks ago uh, about your apartment. You told me about uh, you have five kids. You need something near the school. You want to be in this location, and this is your budget. When you speak to people like that and you reiterate all the facts and the dialogue you have, you get a certain amount of respect from that person. Make sure you have a good follow-up system with a reminder setting in there and you'll see magic happen all the time because nobody deserves success more than you. You knew I was gonna say that. Go to my webpage, claudediamond.com. A lot of good free stuff there. My new book is there, The Gut Sales Method Rules. And I do answer my own phone, 970-281-5151. Take care, guys. Be safe out there. Bye-bye.